going to start disassembling the top end of the XS650 here. Get that right, squeeze. Yeah. My cat says, yep, yeah, she's ready. Alright. When I take these things apart, I like to use baggies. Magic markers. To label stuff. So, I'm going to start right here on the breaker cover. I'm going to pop that open. Inside here is the Pamco. Inside yours may be the points, or maybe nothing. It may be an open little hole, open cavity in there. If you have an 80 or above, this is actually an 80, but it has a Pamco electronic ignition installed. Most of the nuts and bolts or the screws on this bill will be 10, 12, 17. See, I had Loctited it, which is always a good thing. Lock washer. Nut. The Pamco rotor. that oil seal was leaking just a little bit so yeah good time to pull it apart anyway <coughs> excuse me I'm up, this is the uh, back plate I'm gonna pull that off Yes, indeed. Good time to have removed that. 
didn't even realize it was leaking. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm a little slow. The good thing about not having to be in a hurry, dude. Makes life just a little The, uh, we're going to be taking that off. I'm going to spin it around. Oh, I just broke my shoulder a little over three weeks ago. So I'm not really supposed to be messing around with my left shoulder at all. Alright, now we're over here on the advancer side. More to go to our assembly. Loosen these a while ago. So we got we got a couple of sear clips to remove. So I can remove the Goofed up somehow. What is happening? Yeah, it looks like this side's leaking all too.
shot halfway across the garage and I cannot believe that I see it I'm glad it bounced off my cabinet I should have had a magnet near it believe it or not this video while I go find that circlet. Well I found it, it actually hit my cat and was sitting right at the bottom of my cat or at my cat's bottom. It's going how you want to look at it. I thought they did. My memory, they went further than that. Okay, now we got to remove the nut, lock washer, this little locking mechanism. Side, but might as well leave that on there since I took the other one off and we ain't got to mess with it. Nice and lubed up as you can see. Yes. Now I need a long zip lock. <coughs> got the advancer rod. Sealed up, didn't have a baggie that big, but I put it in aluminum foil. Now what we gotta do is 
Get this little star nut off. Oh, damn. Broken shoulder. Sure seems like I should have retightened that at least once and that came off awful damn easy, didn't it? Well, I'm gonna have to, I'll run it up the next time when I put it back together and we will run it up and then retighten it. Take it apart and then get back in there and retighten it. Inside there. Let's see how I pull this out. There's the pin in the can. And that, I do believe, was always in there. And I didn't have to push it in, so I shouldn't have to be worrying about getting it out. Something is leaking anyway. We're going to replace that with new stuff. everything in a nice little ziplock. The way I know it says advancer side. What's going on later? We got a short term memory problem. Okay, let's uh, go back to the other side. Alright. Now we can take that off. We could have anyway. But I didn't. screws make sure the little lock nuts or lock washers come out kind of a pain when you got a broke shoulder. I want to be able to just reach my left arm out there and do what I want. It kind of hangs. Just a little bit. Anyway. Well, the doctor 
probably pissed at me. Bearings on that side. Stuff we have to replace. Alright, let me shut this off, put this stuff in the bags, and uh, I'll set it up for the next part.